We are currently in Reno, Nevada at Rob Canyon. This is the most haunted place in Reno. They discovered four severely mutilated bodies. Right as I hit the recording off, this zip tie just came out of nowhere. That's even creepier, zip tie. I'm scared, you guys. Okay. Anything that was at that park could come back here to our hotel. Every one of those four people there right now, I'm having their emotions. My adrenaline is pumping and my heart is racing. Oh and my God. Is there something that you want us to know? No. Let people know. No, Amanda. Can you set off one of these devices, like the REM pod, just so you confirm you're still here? <gasps> there could be hauntings in this hotel, but it's not like this haunted. This isn't from this hotel. No. This came with us. That was easily one of the most intelligent, responsive, best investigations that we've had. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we're Mackie and Amanda. I'm Mackie. I'm Amanda. And, and we're, we're the, the Spooky, Spooky Booze. Booze. We are currently in Reno, Nevada. At Rob Canyon. This location is a little bit different if you aren't super into paranormal or crime junkies like we are. <laughs> you might not have heard of Rainbow Ridge or Rob Canyon. It's specifically known for one incident. This place is the most haunted place in Reno, supposedly. The main reason they say it's haunted is because back in the 70s, they discovered four severely mutilated bodies that obviously had been murdered. And when we say severely, we mean that- Wait. Did you hear that? Yep, I did. What was That's that? That's one of the- Some growl, mountain lion. It was like almost like a guttural, like yeah, this. yeah. Severely, we mean that. Wait. Severely, we mean that. Wait. That is like one of the main things that's talked about here, and we're gonna get into it because that was insane. Right when we start talking about the murders, and we are right at the entrance, of the concrete path that leads to this tree stump, where the bodies were discovered, or where people have the easiest time connecting to these four victims. That's actually crazy, the fact we heard it through the car and everything. And it was in the middle of a sentence, like when we say severely, we mean that. I was going through, um, where, where are we, Washoe County? Yeah, yeah. Like, um, unsolved cold cases in this county, and I couldn't find this one for some reason. That is because they are unaccounted for. They never log them, never release them to the public, nothing. They were unable to identify a single one of these four people and the case remains open today. All they know is that it was three men and one woman. As if that isn't enough to make this entire canyon completely cursed, there is one other place that people report having sightings of a little girl, but whether or not it's a little girl is up for debate. So that portion of it is right when you walk in. It's on a place that people report seeing her playing on that place at. So I didn't know about that part until right before we came, but on our way here when we stopped at our little grocery store run to get waters and snacks and all that, you know that giant bin that you pass by that has it's like full of balls yeah. and like oh, you can yeah. move the strings yeah. and stuff. I just had the overwhelming sense that maybe we should bring something for her. I don't know, so I grabbed one, who knows? I grabbed the heaviest one that I could find, which still isn't very heavy, yeah. Just felt right. I'm excited and nervous because there's so many reports here, so many crazy things have been captured. Should we go out there? So we do it. And it's freezing cold. It's so cold. We went from 85 degrees to 45 degrees. Oh my gosh, well we have made it through negative 20 with Sam and Colby when we were in. So we'll be fine. All right, let's go. We are literally right here just at the very start of the trailhead. You can see it goes back pretty far. It's supposed to loop. I don't want to say two miles because now I'm doubting myself, but pretty far, farther than I'd like to walk. Yeah, it's definitely creepy already. So we're going to go down, see if we can't find... Will you shine out that way real quick? 
Oh, there's the place that literally right there. We shine the light at the place that really quick. I thought I saw movement. Yeah, you guys, I and mean, that's even too far in, quite frankly. You have to go down there. Okay, so I told you earlier something about swing sets. I didn't even know if there were gonna be swing sets here. There they are. Oh my gosh. I think that's where we put the ball. I know it sounds weird, okay. but. Right. Oh. Do you guys have any mace or anything? Yes. Yes. Okay. And um, <laughs> my friend Eric is a police officer in okay. the county. He patrols at night. So I share my location with him. I text him before I go out on any adventures. So he knows exactly what's going on. All right, this is the place out where they see the little girl playing. She's here. She is? Are you serious? She's here. Throw the ball, throw the ball. Throw the ball? Throw it, go ahead. Where do you see her? Do you see her, Amanda? I do, she's to the left. That's weird, like kind of over by the, like uh -huh. not, oh my God, I just saw the swing move. I thought I did too. That was so cool. I swear I thought I saw it move too. The second one, right? Yeah. Oh, that's where I said I think we should put the ball. Yeah, you, it is. But she's definitely here. She's going near the ball. She's to the edge of the ball on the right. Do you see that kind of rock? Yeah. She's near that side. Can you touch that little ball? Can you poke it and make it move a little bit? Do you think we can throw a cat ball from here too for her? Probably. Do you still see her there? Huh? Yeah, I don't see her as much as I did, like as strong as I did when we first got here, but I definitely feel her super, super strong. What does she look like? I her name too. It starts with like an E and... All right, we've turned that on for you. So you can, you can see that one lights up. So if you go near that one and touch it, it might be a little bit easier instead of having to make it move. You can make it light up. I'm so sorry. I, I kind of feel like uh, I didn't introduce myself or my amigos here, my like, friends. I don't even want to take the camera off of it. Don't do it. Don't okay, do okay. It. Or my friends here. My name is Amanda. I'm Mackie. I'm Granny. <laughs> she's she, she's not really our grandma. She's Mackie's mom. Mackie's yeah. my best friend, and uh, we're not from around here, so we're a little nervous on meeting new people and making new friends. But uh, we heard that you like to hang Shine out at this park right here specifically. Yeah. We came here between the hours that they say you like to be here, and we were hoping that maybe you'd be willing to talk to us communicate or play with us she's back behind on that rock right there really and she as the second i shine my light back there she walks towards us are you open to communicating with us or talking to us <laughs> i cannot wait, does wait, wait yeah just move? yeah it did <laughs> something in our backpack literally just moved oh no freaking way okay wait 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 wait, wait. Do you think we should go down there? No, I think that we need to give her her space. Really? That's I stopped up here and threw the ball. Oh. What little backpack she said? I don't know. So, what, do you think it might have been Boo Buddy? I was wondering that same thing, but didn't want to throw it out. I th it might have been Boo Buddy. Do you said to my hair or something said to my hair. Someone said to Where, where, where? Like back behind. Oh, I just saw it moving. Or is that good? Head. There's no wind. I think her name is Isabella. What does she wait? What does she look like? Um, I don't even so much see like distinct features or anything like that. But she's in lighter colored clothes. It's either like 
a one piece jumper or shorts and shirt that are uh -huh. super similar colors. And I can mostly just see like her outline and kind of the outfit she's wearing. I can see where she's going. Like she just went up those ladders, no steps way. right there, and up to that green part. What is she doing and then here? Across that. Like she, it's literally just like she's playing. Like she's still. Like I wonder what happened to her though. Like why she's here. It's so, weird somebody that else just came up here and was right next to me right here. What they look like? Um, definitely did not like them as much. Really? Felt more masculine, like more. That's, uh, what, that's a feeling I just got, but yeah. I don't. I'm not involved in this, but I swear to God, I felt like it was a man. Definitely masculine. I mean, so every once in a while, I get these weird feelings. Almost like not fully. Um, this sounds super odd to say. Almost not fully like mature, like uh. 17 almost like in his youth mm -hmm. yum and or yum young and dumb <laughs> you know yummy yeah, <laughs> okay <laughs> granny calm guys. down <laughs> like he's a minor dumb, like not a care in the world uh -huh. like kind of throws caution, caution to, to the, the wind, wind is like the phrase that comes to my head i don't understand what why is she doesn't want to play with the balls is she going up that ladder to the twisty slide right now I think she is, yeah. She was like right about here. Okay. Why? I'm a medium. Wait, why? Okay, I mean, why? why As I got that? the feeling she was. Isabella, is it okay if we bring down some more toys for you to borrow and play with? Let the clothes breeze. I did. I heard it. You heard it? Yeah, like, <sighs> if you're okay with us coming down there, can you give us a sign of any type? We'll give you a few seconds. Is she like completely ignoring us? She's behind, okay, I, so I was waiting the 15 seconds. I was literally counting out loud. She's behind that red thing. Do you see with all yeah. the arms coming out? It's almost like she's just kind of shying away. Why? Well, should we go down? Maybe we'll walk in just a tiny, or just a little bit further until we find that old tree and where the farmers happened. All right, let's do it. I'm starting this. Who's that? that? Wait, what is this? Wait, wait, wait. I hope that this was still on camera. Oh, wait, right as I hit the recording off, this zip type just came out of nowhere. Oh my god. Let me start this. Oh my god. Let me start this. Oh my god. Let me start this. Right as I hit the recording off, this zip type just came out of nowhere. That is so crazy. Wait, wait. Sound like someone down there. Did someone just throw that zip type I here? I don't know. I'm so scared. It kind of sounded like it hit this. Yeah. Uh huh. What is that? It's a zip tie. Zip tie? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's even creepier. Zip tie. I'm scared, you guys. Okay. It's okay. <gasps> The fact that, like, you know, I don't even have to say what I'm thinking. Yeah, like ties. I'm just gonna. Okay, stop. I feel safe. Uh, and if anyone runs up, I'll just hit him with this flashlight. Did you just hear that growl again? I'll just hit him with this flashlight. With this flashlight. Yeah, I did. That was like that same thing that we heard earlier. Do you still see your plane over there? Do you still see your plane over there? Do you still see your, see your plane over there? No, I don't. I know, but the name. Somebody just pulled my sweatshirt. Shut did up. Did you have the camera on me? I did. I totally had the entire camera on you. I'll be able to see it. It was so strong, like it just went like that. I feel like it got sketchy, like that zip tie. I know. Wait, is it moving? They the all blue, are. Yeah, the blue one's moving. Ever so slightly. Can you give this a kick for us? Okay, I'm gonna get the ball then. <laughs> oh 
Let me hand this to you. I just don't drop the camera. There's someone walking in front of Granny. Really? <laughs> yeah. I think it's her mom. We really, Granny. Amanda just. Was your mom just a little bit taller than you? Um, at this stage of the game, she could be just maybe a tiny bit taller. We're, probably, we're really the same height. Totally. She, she's um, walking right in front of you. She is. Yeah, like like if you stay where you are, uh -huh. she was walking right about here. No, way. so it looks like this on camera. <laughs> like this. Um, Mackie walked forward. And, yep, just like that. <laughs> Literally, like she's leading the way. <laughs> 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 it's so cold. Wait, she always sees my mom. I always Wait, see her. Really? What was she? she what, can you tell what she was wearing or anything? She actually looked like she was wearing. I feel like she was wearing a lot of jewelry, and I normally don't see her wear a lot of jewelry. Then you would. It might have been my aunt Sally or huh. my grandma Gody. Well, no, no, she did wear. Hang on here. She. There's a lot of rings. rings. Oh, a lot of rings. A lot of rings. Okay, hold on, he's in calibrate. What the heck? Hello, 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 hello. Hello. hello, hello. Are you okay, Boo Buddy? Are you alright, Boo Buddy? I, I guess he's fine. Oh, okay, Boo Buddy. Uh oh, Boo Buddy down. Pick him back up. <laughs> he's ticklish. He's bad. How's Did that? You say something? Oh, Could you please his, say it again? his paws lighting up. EMF. Both. So we came back to the car because when you realize that somebody had maybe thrown something like near us or it sounded like something had fallen near us and then seeing that zip tie on the ground right where yeah. we were standing and I don't think it was there before because we set our backpack down so we would have noticed it on the ground. Yeah, no, I definitely, when I looked down it was still moving and we kind of got sketched out because the lady at Walmart was like, be super careful because the homeless people there are super aggressive. Yeah, and it just, just didn't seem worth it, you know, so. For now, we're we, gonna do a quick spirit box. We figured, yeah, we're right across the park from the street still, just up a little bit, and we already feel like she didn't want us to go down into the park, so maybe now that we've given her that space, yeah. she'll answer why she didn't want us down there. We I mean, should... was talking about an alphabet like a kid would talk about. We've noticed that it will say stuff like that we're, we're talking about. Like when right when someone's about to ask if they can make a noise, it will say can you knock or it like correlates. It's weird. It yeah, is. Well, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. yeah. It just course. Okay. As we were just talking about how it will say noise. A noise once. and it just did it. I'm ready to connect to Izzy. She came from Wait, a big fam. Can you make a noise for me? I thought I heard something. She came from a big family. I don't want to say big family like I keep getting that. I don't want to say it was a big family because it was a lot of people. It seems like maybe even there was something big about them, like one of their family, like a, mu a musician or one of her siblings, like her brother had something special going on. That's what I think is her brother had something special. What do you mean? So like a talent? Yeah, that yeah, that's okay. kind of like what I'm getting at. But I I don't have any idea of what it would be, so I don't want to be too specific. But yes, some flashlight. It said flashlight. Really? Some kind of talent. Do you think that was a 17 year old down there? <gasps> the flashlight turned off. And it got his tummy touched. Oh, it touched my tummy. Okay. Hospital? They were a multilingual family. Okay. Alex. I got that. I heard that too. Is your name Alex? Or your brother's name Alex? Or dad, Alex. Oh. That picked up from me. Alex and the dad. Both. Like Alex and Alex Jr.? I lost you. Yeah, with Alex and Junior. Why do you hang out at this park still? Like then I don't know. They never I got to have brand new things and they like this neighborhood, the people there, the kids there, the equipment there. Did you pass away near here? Did 
Did you say salmon colby? Sounded like it. <laughs> it did. It did. It totally did. Did you say salmon colby? Fourth time. Fourth, Fourth time. time. Have you said that we're friends with them? It said uh, they're more friends you can play with. Can you turn on this flashlight if you said Sam and Colby or if you know Sam and Colby? They played with me. Is this so Where do they know you from? It's happening. I heard it say my name. Whoa, whoa, whoa the flashlight just rolled. The flashlight just completely rolled. Someone else, Mackie. They want someone other than you to ask me questions. Really? But Why? I, I think that you should keep asking. Okay. I don't know. Why don't you want me to ask questions? Where do you know Sam and Colby from? Can you say the city? It's not saying anything now. After I said it didn't want me to ask questions. Uh, and I'm like, at a loss. I... Really? Yeah, I'm like trying so hard to focus in. You have no idea. I feel like this is the longest that like, I've been able to quiet my mind and really pick up what they're saying. And all of a sudden I'm like, wow, I'm just drawing a blank. Like, nothing. Do you think um, anyone's still here? It's, it's family. It, I'm getting, I'm starting to get more, but. Granny, can you try asking a question? Um. Gracias. You try holding it. How about this? Do you like candy? I have a question. I like your something. Do you like me? Flashlight. <laughs> Are you. Are you willing to answer my questions? No. Hear them? Fear the light, I heard. Are the rumors true? Are the rumors true about the murders that took place here? Duh. Is the murderer still alive? Leave. Do you want us to leave? Please leave. Yes, ma'am. How many of there are you? I'm dead. Ten. I'm ten. Doctor? You're a doctor? Oh, what? what? Something, it feels like something just literally pricked my finger. Like right where I was holding the spirit box. What the heck? Oh, did you have a phone? Oh yeah. my gosh. How? That? Yeah. What the heck? That's really weird because like five minutes before you'll see in the video I literally go like this Amanda because it felt like someone did that like right on my ribs. Oh, we did. We did. Ouch. Not nice guys. I'm turning this off. Really? Yeah that was really rude because whoever did that unacceptable and they need to leave off. right now. We can try again at the hotel too to connect to someone. But I don't know if it's because I I literally hold it like this, you yeah. know what I mean? But that's like how I hold it too. I always have my finger touching the antenna like that. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Should we just go back to the hotel? Yeah, let's go do it back to the green. Your map is on in his hand. I like hugs. I'm sure. Yeah, I say we go back and we see if anyone wants to come hang out with us. We just made it back to the room. I just got a lot, I don't wanna say a little sketchy, but like I'm trying to keep myself calm after the whole zip tie thing. I just don't know where it came from. That, the weird thing is that we heard it hit and that like I wanna believe that it was there before, so I'm excited to look back. No, it definitely wasn't because I looked down and it was still moving. Are you serious? Yeah, like I watched it and it was the second I hit stop recording that 
it flew out and then I hit it instantly. So I don't know if it even caught it on camera. I hope that it did because you can literally hear the cling when it hits the railing. Yeah. We don't want to put our bag in something disgusting like when we're yeah. out. So we always look. Like always. So we came back here because it was getting a little bit sketchy. It's currently at 128. So <laughs> we figured anything that was there, the little girl, four people, or if it was not a person that threw that zip tie at us, if it was something else, anything that was at that park could come back here to our hotel. We're literally like two miles away. Yeah. Apparently this hotel's built on Native American land. They even have like a Native American exhibit downstairs with stuff that they've dug up while they were building the hotel, I guess. So, what? Yeah, so we might have some activity here. I know that like a lot of Nevada, just like the land even is haunted. And all the mining towns yeah. and- There's a lot going on, so. I'm sure we'll get some stuff. Oh, whoa. I just saw that. <laughs> Have you sensed anything? Before we went to go film, a lot of it was just, like, you know, it's a casino, so there's a lot of people walking around. Uh -huh. There's a lot of people that just walk around with, there are a lot of spirits, yeah. sorry, that walk around with them also. So because of that, like, yes, I'm seeing things, but nothing that I would equate to being specific to the hotel or because okay. of an incident or anyone who's come to me telling me, like, you know, I was here but I was really expecting maybe that little girl to she come. come yeah it was odd that she was so shy I know but yeah she wanted to talk to us at the same time right or like not talk to us but like make herself know I wonder if she was overwhelmed because there were so many people there or because we were in her space yeah. and maybe now that we've invited her back we'll have some luck but a lot of people have been asking us to use the spirit talker app it's downloaded onto your cell phone so we're gonna give it a go I've seen it work amazingly well, like in person. Really? Amazingly well. Oh my god. Well. we'll see how it goes. Okay. So we each have a bed here. <laughs> Which is not normal. Normally we have one big bed. Yeah, so we're gonna put a cap on each and see who has the haunted bed tonight. <laughs> <laughs> We've already claimed our beds. Yeah. That yeah. one's mine. Okay. Or, oh, there. All right. <laughs> I'm so scared. And then rum pod. Right in the middle. Right here. Oh yeah. Stutter layer. I just heard a huge knock over here the second you set you that did? down. I swear you're gonna be able to hear it on camera so clearly. Okay, I just wanna show how far away that like lamp is from this, that it's not that. Is someone here with us right now? Can you touch it again? If that was you? I feel like I'm too close, like I need to back up from them. Up to I almost feel like you shouldn't. I don't mean to put you on the spot and send you over there. Did, did you want me to come sit over here? If you did, can you uh, touch this REM pod again? This device that was lighting up green, can you make that happen again, please? Give you 15 seconds. I'm actually gonna interrupt you because I think we're wrong. What do you mean? They I, don't want me? No, 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 no. I'm so sorry. Oh, they don't want me. They don't want me. I think that they were just checking it out oh, that we set cool. it down and immediately they were just. Yeah. So maybe give a little explanation on what it is. If okay, so this is called a REM pod, this red light right here. Basically, if you put energy into it or go near it, it will light up, make some noise, and it will just let us know that you're here and wanting to talk to us or just making yourself known. It's not going to hurt you in any way. It's not going to hurt us in any way. It doesn't really do anything except let us know of your presence in this room with us. Feel free to play with it some more. Make it light up throughout the night. Mackie and I both have beds here. Mm -hmm. Look on my side. Hey, and we saw that. <laughs> and we've got Mackie's side. On each bed, we have a cat ball, which are these little tiny devices. If you touch them. Oh. Did you touch it? I touched that, but that was. Okay. Was That's EMF. Yeah. My heart's pounding. The second that started going off, it was like getting harder to breathe, and I totally see this hospital scene, like reminds me of. Grey's Anatomy sounds so uh -huh. funny when I say it out loud, but just like a lot of chaos, 
super hectic, like- Gaffling, oh my god. I saw it in the reflection. Um, super hectic, they're like- it's, it's almost as if I am this person that everyone's working uh -huh. around, like I'm the one- <gasps> It's going again. On my bed. It's almost as if like I'm the one that's laying down and like I can see myself there and like my body like down and my arms are up like this and I'm on another side of the room watching myself. Like it's what like- What the hell? Like out of body experience? Yeah, but like- Obviously, I'm not having any yeah. things happen to me right now. I feel like this has not stopped. This is this the hasn't... longest time. Like, I can't breathe. I feel like I saw something bad happen immediately before something bad happened to me. Uh -huh. And, like, my adrenaline is pumping and my heart is racing. Oh, and my God. This has not stopped. I've, I've never, never in a million years have we seen this. Oh my god! The chills on my body are insane right now. Um, I I'm definitely feeling as if like, I feel like I am this person. I feel like as if like I'm this man. And it's a man. It's a man. And this other person that was with him was a woman. Stop. Stop. You're literally describing. I'm thinking about the four bodies. Yeah, me too. Me too. And I'm thinking about the last person. Oh, I just heard something I'm right behind me. I'm absolutely right. Like I have never, like I'm talking to you, Mackie, and talking yeah. to everybody watching. I always say that I am never sure of anything. Like right now, I have never been so, I'm gonna start crying. Mm -hmm. I am never, and like, I'm also like terrified and I still have like, the, I feel like every single person, like every one of those four people there right now, I'm having their emotions. And the most, like, one that I'm picking up on is that man. But what I'm not putting together is why do I see this hospital scene and this man being hurt when all four of these bodies were uncovered and never brought... Yeah. Like, they never made it to the hospital, so where is this hospital scene and this, like, chaos? And unless they were trying to work on the person. Like, maybe they're... Like, somebody got injured, somebody, somebody was hurt by somebody else. Mm -hmm. And the chaos surrounding him was not a hospital scene like Grey's Anatomy, but it was his friends oh. or the friends that were with him. Oh my gosh, am I like, I, my Apple Watch is dead, but like if oh. I could get my heart rate right now, like it feels like I have been, like when I'm going to the gym and I run and run like at the very end. That's cr crazy. It's not going off anymore either. I feel like it's because like I'm like getting it right. Yeah, I think so too. Did you hear my yes. Water that was my water bottle creak. But why did it creak randomly? I have no idea. If that was you, I can feel you all here. Can you make one of these devices go off like you have been? Just to confirm that this story that I'm getting, maybe if it's accurate. It sound like some someone in that hallway. That's crazy. Well, could you make it stop for a minute, please? We'll give you a second. If you were in the park with us tonight, if you were at Rob Canyon with us, could you make that device go off? Or this cat bolt on the bed that you were setting off. Or crinkle that water bottle, or knock, or whisper. Wait. If you saw us at Rob Canyon and you were there also, That scratching. I've heard it the end. Really? Yeah, the entire time, but only since we got back. Yeah. Like, I never heard it before we left. I thought it was the fan at first. Went yeah. to the bathroom and turned off the fan. It's all. And then I checked this, uh. and this was already off when this was happening. It's so weird. <sighs> Can you set off one of these devices, like the cat ball on the bed or the REM pod, just to confirm you're still here? Oh. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. I'm like, so, it's so crazy to I can go be, from being like shivering so much it hurts yeah. to I'm burning hot. No, it's really odd in here. Is there something that you want us to know? Is there a reason that you're still here and that you're right now communicating with us? 
is there a specific reason? It can also, don't answer the, don't hit the button, <laughs> don't make noise if this is it, but we also understand if you're just wanting to talk. But if there's a specific message you want to get across, can you make the cup? Did, did you know I was going to say that? I, I don't know. That was weird. Could you make the cat ball go off on this bed if it's a specific message? And if you just want to chat, we have it on this side also. I almost, that sounds super weird. I feel like, I don't know where this is coming from or why it would even be a thing. Whatever set the one off on your bed uh -huh. is not going to be able to set the one off on this side. Wait, why? I have no idea. Like, not a clue. That's really weird. <gasps> so they do have a message. They have a message. I was just gonna ask. So do we use the Spirit Talker app to try and get yes. the message across? Do we have this little box on our, a little box where- Yes, it's, okay. it knows, it knows. You'll be able to talk through it and we can hear you. This is insane. This is insane. Oh. Oh my Again, god. Again, I just watched it. That's the third time it went off while the camera was yes. gone. It had gone off twice. That was the third. Alright, I'm gonna download this app. Uh, you don't have it, do you? No, I don't. Oh my god. It stopped, started again, and that went off. It's like they really want to talk. Like they really want to talk. <sighs> All right, we're, we're getting it. Is it $2.99? Yeah, I was gonna say it's like $3 or something. Yeah. Oh yes. my God, I've never seen, like this this hotel, yeah, it's like on, like there could be hauntings in this hotel, this, but it's not like this haunted. This isn't from this hotel. No. This, like, that's what I'm saying. Like you yeah. just know it's not from this hotel. This came with us, am I right? You don't usually hang out at this hotel. You set off one of these devices again. If you don't hang out here usually. I'm just gonna set up the music box for a little bit. I feel like they're super active right now. Okay, I'm gonna set it pointing at this. Did you, it sound weird for a second? It did. Did you hear a little voice? A little, uh. <laughs> okay. So this is a music box. If you walk in front of it, it'll play like that. And the app downloaded, so. All right, let's try it. What was Is that, that music? It sounded like music. That was so weird. That sound like music in the hallway. <laughs> okay. Now <Ouch>. try. <laughs> huh? Does it make any noise usually, or does it just come through with voices? I don't know. Paranormal research device. Star. Does, what? does it usually like how? Star. Oh. Star. Okay. Maybe it was nighttime. Remember when we were driving there, there was a motel, and you're like, if you were a stripper, that would be your name. And it was like, Starduster? Yes. Oh my gosh. All right, so this, I'm holding this device in my hand. You can manipulate it or talk into it, and we'll be able to physically hear and see what you are saying. Can you maybe tell us your name or something about you? Or even, you said you had a message that you wanted to get across to us. Maybe if it's one of you four from from that night can, can you tell us the message that you want to share with us? Okay, let people know No, let people know. No, Amanda <gasps> This is the craziest <laughs> <laughs> Let people know. Let people know. Does it even come through with full phrases? What do you, okay, what do you want? Okay. I literally okay. ask. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. 
Do you want us to let people know about you? Like your story? Or, yeah, it was, it was never solved. And here's a crazy thing. When I was going through the homicides and solved homicides from back to the 1970s, reading every single one, I never found it there. Wait, it's saying something else. Here. Here. Amanda, this is a cr They were like, not, I don't want to say covering it up because obviously they weren't, but they didn't even share it with people. Uh -uh. Like, let people know. Let They're people here. know. It was unreleased to the public, undocumented. Can you tell us maybe how many of you are here, where you came from, or what happened that night? Winifred. What? Winifred. Winifred. Like a name? Is your Winfred? Winnie? Is your name Winifred? Can you make what the cat ball over here go off again? If that's your name. Or is it just Fred? If your name was just Fred. Or what, what, there's multiple people. What if one of them's name was Winnie? Winnie. What if one of them's name was Fred? What yeah. If, like they're coming. Th I don't know. I'm spitballing. I, I know. I know. It. If any of these names in any sense had anything to do with you, even if it's not the right order, can you make one of our devices go off? What if it was the name of the person who... <sighs> they only gave us one name. Four people gave yeah. us one name. The Loft. I don't, I'm not really sure about that one. The Loft. I don't know. Winifred. I wonder if Winifred is a loft. Like it's the name of a place. Maybe. I'm just gonna search. Yeah. What is the meaning of Winifred? Holy. <gasps> oh! You're witchcraft. Line. The second it said witchcraft, that goes off. And Winifred? It means holy. Blessed reconciliation. Like they would need to reconcile, you know what I mean? What yeah. If, what if these four people were killed by someone and some for kind of, sacrifice? Some kind of sick thing. That Winifred, like they knew we would look it up. Holy blessed reconciliation. The goosebumps I have right now. Oh. The reconciliation is like fixing things yeah. between like uh -huh. like what if they're saying they forgive and I do believe when they're on the other side they have this <laughs> Is, if any of this is making sense it's to you at all. It's a joyous meaning to a tragic past. No way. If this is any of this making any sense to you at all, can you please sit off the cat ball or the REM pod or s confirm it through the spirit talker or walk in front of the music box? Literally anything. I'll give you 15 seconds. What if they really are just... I'm beside, I'm beside you. you. They're I'm beside, beside you. They're beside me. I can feel them. You can? Yeah, they're right behind. Like, I can feel it on my back. I really, truly believe that they're, like, here to just be, like... To, like, confirm it? Not even just confirm it, but you know how, like, sometimes someone does you dirty? Yeah. You know what I mean? Even if they're, like, used to be your friend or whatever, like, somebody, like, does you f***ing dirty. Yeah. And they got done really dirty. Maybe yeah. Maybe by somebody new. Like, they knew somebody they used to hang out with. Mm -hmm. And they're here talking about, like reconciliation and just like leaving the past behind i don't know i don't know the whole thing's crazy oh, okay the cat ball went off probably oh that's probably me that's probably me is there anything else you'd like us to know or is it literally just exactly what amanda said you just we're lost here we're lost oh, here <gasps> what what did you oh what did what? you know i was gonna say we're lost here oh oh yeah i looked down and saw it i was like you're possessed are they stuck in Rob Camp? Like, not stuck, but like bound there where they can't, like. Because of the witchcraft? Oh my god, yes. Like the witch's ladder we found while <gasps> it was binding a spell there. What if someone did witchcraft and they're stuck? They're lost there. That's. They can't get out. I bet you're right. If we're right, can you make that REM pod go off again? I just felt like they're over there. Where? By the REM pod and behind you. You can take energy from our light or our camera. Don't be nervous. They're Don't be nervous. They're taking energy from me. Like, I am draining. Don't be nervous. Like, when you, and when you said that they're, like, behind me, like, I started to get nervous. Really? Oh, Capel. I saw that. <sighs> We're not ner- we won't be nervous. It's okay. Do you want us oh to gosh. go back to Rob Camp? I have no regrets. 
I have no regrets. Well, that's nice. Oh my gosh. That's nice. All right, well, that's good to hear. You feel like you've let go of all your resentment and anger. This cap all went off again. Okay. Do you have anything else you want to let us know before we call it a night? Cap all went off again. Okay, can you? All right, we're listening. It's like so crazy. Like I've never seen the capital do this. I don't know if anyone else has seen it do this, where it just like goes off and on and off and on and off and on. Oh, that was him. That was him. Do you hear that behind you, or is that your plot of voice? Capital. That was him. Do you think it was just like one of the guys that died? I don't know. I think that they're talking about that was somebody that made us uncomfortable because I was thinking we need to go back. Yeah. That, like, we definitely aren't done with these people. Yeah, I feel like it's kind of dangerous dangerous for us to go there at night. Yeah. Just because, like, especially what the lady in Walmart said, she was seriously like, yeah, like, don't go there at night, just the two of us, because it's really dangerous. Like, the homeless people there are really aggressive, she said. So, so it's like, your energy. I need more energy. It's because I, I, when I told you, I'm like, they are taking from me. Yeah. Like, started praying and was just like, put up that wall that I always do. <gasps> and it needs more energy. Like, it's not getting it from me anymore. Can you see a difference in me? Like, yes. It needs For more energy sure. and it's not getting it from me. That's <sighs> crazy. Well, you can't take energy from either of us. I'm sorry. I already set that boundary. But like, yeah, definitely reiterate it. But... <sighs> I set that boundary and I think that's why it's struggling. It looked like there was just like an orb going by like on the bed. Of course it's my bed. I know. Well really, know, of course it's your bed. <laughs> We're gonna cut off this line of communication. It's almost 2 a.m. right now. Death. Right Death. when right when you say we're gonna cut it off, it like it gets off. volatile. We're right. done. Thank you. Goodbye. Right. Thanks for talking to us. If you feel accomplished with our conversation we had here tonight, can you give us one more sign, either the REM pod or cat ball? I feel super accomplished. Thanks for asking my opinion. Not you. <laughs> Maybe they don't feel accomplished. Maybe yeah. they want us to come back. All right. I guess we're going to have to go back to Rob Canyon eventually. I don't even know when, but we'll, we're going to have to go back. Well, well, I guess we'll see if anything happens tonight. We'll let Good you know. Good luck sleeping on that side now. <sighs> How'd you sleep? <gasps> Terrible. How'd you sleep? Excellent. Yeah. I per you. Per you. <laughs> I, after sleeping on it, feel like that was easily one of the most intelligent, responsive, and best investigations that we've had. We're like, this is gonna be such like a mellow thing and we're like, hopefully they'll even come back to the hotel with us. We had no idea. We felt like such, I'm even gonna say it, we felt like such little failures leaving so early, but it wasn't safe. And I'm really glad that we came back because I feel like we were safer here and it didn't make any difference. Like yeah. maybe if anything, we were able to focus in more. Yeah, like it wasn't all the noises and we yeah. weren't as afraid and we weren't paying yeah. attention to our surroundings as much as like getting, being afraid of getting murdered. So we were able to focus on the communication with the spirits. But that, I like. Yeah, because a lot of times when we're like in the outdoor locations, there's like so much going on and it's scary because of people. It's yeah. Like, you don't get to really like focus in that much no. and have like a good conversation. Or even just like a zip tie gets thrown oh. at us. Was it a living person or was that a spirit? And after our communication coming back to the hotel and what came through on the Spirit Talker app and what I felt and picked up from their experience and their passing, I feel like maybe that zip tie has some significance. And that it was a spirit and not a living person that yeah. tossed it to us. It must have been zip tied. I hate to even like think about it. It's 
it's scary. It's so scary and so I'm glad that we left when we did. Anyways, on that note, if you guys thought this video was as insane as we did, let us know in the comments below. Hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps us out. Helps us to travel places like this outside of our home state. Make sure you go get the Spooktober merch. And speaking of Spooktober, we have the craziest videos planned, so stay Definite. tuned. Other than that, we hope you enjoyed and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Peace.